Hey guys, you're watching Super Nanny. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 94. And today we are going to at least start an airport. It's something that you guys have asked for so, so much since pretty much the beginning of the series. And I have built an airport before a long, long time ago. Uh, let me just get comfy. Uh, I built an airport a long time ago on a series called Let's Build an Airport. Uh, well, it was Let's Build the Hunger Games. And uh, we built an airport at the Hunger Games. And on the map, it was huge. In fact, the airport ended up being probably, if you imagine the bottom left-hand corner of the map, it was probably the size of the racetrack and then probably went up to the football stadium height and then went probably across to where the water is. So it was about a quarter of the map. That is what it ended up being. Now, we only have this top corner, really, where we can put it. Which means we're going to have to take these two tanks away eventually. We'll move them somewhere else. We'll probably have them over there or something like that. But the first thing that we need to work out is our runway. That's the most important part of an airport, I think. And I think we've got just about... It's going to be close, but I think we've got just about enough room for an airport. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have... Uh, let's go as far over as we can to this helicopter. We'll probably keep that helipad there, but we don't want to go too close to the tower. We're going to go to there, I think. And then we're going to have a white one. Well, the white one will be there because I'll come around here. This white one's going to be one edge. And then we'll go along here. We'll try and get some sort of width first. Okay, we'll go to there. And now what we're going to do is have a grey one. And then maybe a thickness of two. These will be extended. We're just sort of starting it up. So if we do that, then that, then look, that, 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 that. How many have we got so far? Five. You know, five might be enough. And then if we had, whoops, one, two, three in the middle. And then we go with one, two, three, four, five again. Like that. I think that's about as wide as we can possibly do on this world. We can't really get it any wider than that. Uh, and then we had the white one as the other edge. Okay, let's just have a look. See if that's wide enough. Can we see it on the map? We can't see it on the map yet. Uh, yeah, that'll probably end up being wide enough, I think. That, that'll that be good. Okay, and that'll extend all the way down. You really don't want to see me do that, though. So we'll, <laughs> we'll do that later on. I think the next part is working out where the actual airport is going to go in the terminals and stuff because oh yeah next to this we're gonna have to have some sort of taxiway let's get a yellow carpet because the yellow carpet not an orange one a yellow one is probably going to be the best for a taxiway so that's going to come down here and then what we'll do is we'll have the taxiway run parallel to the um runway so I think if we do this try and get a nice curve one two three one two three and then continue on there is that a nice curve we don't want it too sharp because obviously a plane needs to be able to turn on it I think that's going to be about right that looks about right okay and then this will run all the way down to the whoops other end of the airport as well like a D shape so we've got the runway then a taxiway running around the outside and then we're going to have to have some planes parked here somewhere. You know, some small planes. And then we we'll probably can fit the airport in there. It's going to be a small airport. The airport's only going to have one runway. Because that's all that we can really fit into this city. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice small terminal. Nothing too big. We don't need nothing too big, I don't think. So, let's grab... We're going to go with white wool, I think. Uh, and maybe some light grey wool. I think those two might be good. We might even use some red as well to, like, I don't know, make the the building look a little bit more colourful. Put a little bit more colour into it. So, if we had the edge of the building there, that gives us sort of enough room for the um, taxiway and some parking spots uh, for the, what do you call them, for the airplanes, the what you call them. <laughs> okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go with a sort of diamond shape in the middle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and then if we go across, yeah, across here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
That should be in line there. It's in line. Okay. So that's going to be the shape. It's sort of going to be like a, an octagon in the middle with the two sides poking out. Now, we can't go much wider because of the river here. And I don't really want to move the river. Moving rivers have a lot of work. <laughs> I'd have to do it for the uh, football stadium we've done um, over the last other few sort of three or four episodes. Three episodes, didn't it? It took. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of work to move it. So we're going to come out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops. Nine. Nine. Ten. And then go one, two. Oh, we need to count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then back in here again. Okay, now these, the two sides, the two square bits, don't need to be the same length as each other. So we're going to try and get this as big as we can. We're going to come out to here. And we're going to need a control tower as well at some place. Uh, where should we have the control tower? Maybe in the middle. I think in the middle would be quite nice. Okay, so how's that looking? That's looking quite cool. We can have a road coming over there because the road also needs to connect up to the... Um, uh, what's this place? Radio station. Now, we haven't got much place for a car park. We can have a few car parking spaces around here. Well, we could probably share it with the radio, couldn't we? And have the car park sort of come around. And just have the road off end up there. We need a little bus stop for people that are taking the bus to the airport, as well as some taxi spots as well. But we we don't really have much room. We're sort of really, really compacting this in as much as possible. Okay, so the next thing is the control tower, which we're going to do a round control tower. I always think they look the coolest. I've got hiccups. Still got hiccups. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two. One. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. And then... That'll be the circle, because this will get wider as it goes up anyway, I think. I'm going to try and sort of do parts of what we've done back on the Let's Build a Theme... Let, let's Build a Theme Park. Let's Build a Hunger Games World. Uh, and just hopefully try and improve on them a little bit. So that'll be the control tower. That'll go very, very high. I like that. I like that. And now we need somewhere where the planes can... Where, where people can get onto the planes. So maybe we should have that over here. And I think on the last airport, I had a building coming off the side that went quite away. Obviously, the Let's Build a Airport series is going to be a much, much bigger uh, world. <laughs> uh, a much bigger airport, sorry, than this one. Now, what height do we need to do this at? What height would the plane be at? Uh, about that height, if we had the bottom of it there. That would probably be about right. We'll put it there for now. Okay, so we'll come out here. Maybe not that long. We don't need it incredibly long. We don't need a really long terminal, do we? Uh, just enough to get a wing under. So, yeah, we'll go to about there. We can always lower this down if we need to. And if we have two spaces in the middle for people to walk on, we'll bring this back like that. Wonderful, wonderful. So that's where they can get onto the planes. I think that's a good idea. I think this is going to look pretty good. Now, what else would you need in an airport? Obviously, we've got vehicles we'll need. We'll need a little fire engine. We'll need a little ambulance. If anything happens, uh, those tanks will have to be moved. Uh, it's not the best location with the space station right there. But because of the space that we've got left on the world, we can't really do anything else apart from the, it here. Um, yeah, no, I think that's a pretty good layout to begin with at least. Now, the airport, we're going to have a lot of glass in. I like airports with a lot of glass very sort of almost modern looking and I think you know I think it would be cool if we had light grey up here like this and if we get some glass panes and then if the on the inside of the airport if we do end up doing the interior of the airport uh, terminal here we can have the ground let's just put this one more row across we can have the ground let's just use um oak wood for the moment get rid of that orange we don't need orange um, Oakwood can go along the bottom which means we can still stand on the floor and look out the window but from the outside I think the grey will the light just a little bit of light grey will will make it look a little bit more modern okay so how high do we want these windows to go one two three four blocks high and then if we had a row of well if we have a row of grey like that to match the other side of the window and then we had a row of white like that and then another row of grey. 
And then maybe we can have a smaller window at the top. We don't need a two-story terminal. The one on Let's Build the Hunger, yeah, the Let's Build the Hunger Game series, that had um, two, I think even three stories in places, and it had basically a mall inside of it. It had like a, a mini shopping center with a McDonald's in there, and sh clothes stores and game stores and furniture stores, everything inside, anything that you'd really want. <laughs> Um, from a from a mall really, but it was a huge airport you see, and he needed it nice and big because uh, it ended up being quite a large Hunger Games really for Xbox 360. All right, we're getting to night time again. Uh, that means we're already 10 minutes in because I slept the night away before we started. <gasps> no, we're already running out of time. I don't know. <laughs> I've been thinking before the episode. I thought, well, maybe we can think of a an, a runway song. Uh, a song that has like an airport or runway in it, and I racked my brain for ages, and I couldn't think of one. <laughs> I can only think of car wash, which doesn't really have anything to do with the runway at all, does it? And it doesn't work if you replace car wash with runway. We're at the runway. Whoa, whoa. No, it doesn't work, does it? <laughs> they should have sung that on the car wash episode. I might have actually. I might have sung it. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. That's going to be a pretty cool side to it. Um. Now, these front ones, uh, do we use panes or do we use full blocks? I still think panes will look better. So we'll go down here and down this side as well. Because it's always, it's always nice to have windows in an airport. So when you're in the seating area, you can always look out and see, see the planes coming in and out. It's very boring if you're just sitting there. So at least it gives you something to look at. Okay, and then we're going to have this three wide or three blocks thick here before the next window starts. Same thing going along there uh, on that wall as it is on this wall. Same thing around here. It'll probably be the same around all of them really. Um, apart from here, maybe we could have a slightly different wall here. Because if we had the seating area here, the waiting area here, and then we had a staircase going up to get into the um, airplanes, and then this part can be the offices, the control rooms, uh, and all that type of stuff. And then over there can be maybe um, another little waiting area, maybe with a couple of shops, uh, bathrooms, stuff like that. And then, hmm, how? Yeah, we'll work it out when we, if we do an interior. Well, we'll <laughs> don't no need to bother really. Otherwise, okay. But let's still continue the design of having the grey wool. Along the bottom here, all the way across the bottom. Oh, I've run out of splash me potions. Splash me! And we'll go up here. Again, I don't know any dimension, guys. I am winging this. I am making it up as we go along. And hopefully it'll turn out okay. Um, let's have maybe some thinner windows up here. So if we had one, two, three, four, the same as last time. We'll get one wider. Oh, yeah, that could be pretty cool. If we go there, take that one away, like this, take that one away, oh this could look cool, and then up there as well, uh, one, two, three, and then along here, and then right up there, just as a different design so it's not the same all the way around. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that as a little design, we can always move this little terminal bit around if we need. Uh, this wall will probably end up being uh, solid, no windows in it, or if we are going to do windows, we'll do very small windows, because there's only trees there, so there's not really much point uh, of having a window there. It's not going to really li let all that much light in, is it, or anything. So maybe we can do, um, oh, maybe something similar to that, and we drop the grey wall back in. It's not going to be seen all that often, so we don't need to put too much detail in it. There's no point wasting too much time. Uh, oops, wrong one. No, point, no much point wasting uh, too much time in an area that isn't going to be looked at or concentrated on. Yeah, that could look cool. Even if we've done that maybe all the way up. Let's do another row of that. Along here. And then we'll go back again with the white one. And then I think I'll start some work uh, on the air, on the runway. And at least try and get that in. Man, I've just woken up. <laughs> and my voice is all fuddy at the minute. Okay, so if we have the entrance in the middle. I always like having the entrance in the middle. We had it, what was it, 15 wide, wasn't it? So is that the middle? Let's just double check. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go, 7 on each side. So that would be the middle. And I think 
we could have it three wide. A nice big entrance for people to get in and out of. Yeah, and then that gives us the option. Oh, I've got glass panes on me. Lovely, lovely, lovely. If we go up like this, three high door. Three high door. Thank you. And then we'll do our little open glass doors, I think. Very inviting looking place. If you've got the doors open, people will want to come in. They'll want to fly away from our city or enter our city, come and visit it. Okay, and then we can do some... Um, maybe curve the windows round on the front there. We might even curve them round on the back as well. I guess it's a really, really cool shape. It's not a bad height either. It will get taller in the middle, I think. But I think I'm going to be back, guys. I'm going to at least lay down the length of the runway to make sure it does look long enough. And uh, I might copy this shape of the actual terminal up the top like at that level uh, so we can work on the next part of it. So I should be back. Okay, I didn't go too far because I want to sort of stay with you. But I've got the uh, top level in now so we know sort of the height of it. And I think that's a really cool height. We can get a cool bridge coming over here maybe. Uh, we'll sort something up maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll sort that out when it comes to it. And uh, I've placed down some of the grey lines for the uh, airport. It looks a little bit weird. It looks like a bit like an optical illusion at the moment. But there's a reason why I've done it. And that's because we don't know how high we want these blocks to go yet. And we don't know, like, just the layout of the um, the runway yet. So what we're going to do is, let's work that out now. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blocks? Would 12 blocks look good? Let's just do, well, let's do all of them while we're here. What I want to do is I want to ask you guys, question of the episode, question of the day, is where have you been on holiday? And did you go via a plane or hmm where did you go and what do you think of your plane experience I think that's what we'll do because I've never been out of England out of the United Kingdom uh, I've never gone to France or abroad or anything we had um, a few school trips when I was uh, at high school to uh, France I think uh, but I never went because I never had a passport at the time and I didn't want to go I don't I don't like flying I'm if anything a little bit scared of flying I don't like heights that's probably my main problem. I don't like um, heights whatsoever. So obviously being in a plane, you end up going pretty high. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's something that I really wasn't interested in the slightest. Uh, which means I've never been abroad. I've never been outside of the United Kingdom. So yeah, let me tell uh, tell me what you guys think of flying and, and, and stuff like that. It'd be interesting to know. Okay, so there's the bottom bit in. Now we need a runway number. Now... We've only got one runway, so technically this probably should be runway one. But I don't think that's going to look very good. So we're going to do uh, number 20, 25. Because I think they're going to be two interesting numbers to try and write down on the floor here. So let's just put another layer of this in. And then we'll put in the middles there. So if we leave a gap of one between them. And then we write two here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that about right width? Yeah, for the numbers, that'll be good. Okay, so a two. How high do I go? That's one, two blocks, three blocks, four blocks, five blocks, six blocks, seven blocks, eight blocks. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Um, eight blocks, nine blocks. Is that about right? Does that look like a number two? It's not a bad number two. It's not quite right. Uh, I need to replace that. That's going to annoy me otherwise. Let's get rid of the yellow one. We don't need the yellow wool for a while. Does that look like a number two? That looks like a number two to me. Two and then a five, which is going to be a straight line across the top. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, <laughs> I was nearly got confused about what way a five went then. Uh, we'll come down here, there, there. Okay, nearly. I think we've gone one, two high. So we'll come down there. Take that one away. 25. I think that's a cool looking number. Now, do we need to thicken up this to make that look better? Yeah, I think so. And we'll go there and there as well. Uh, yeah, two. Whoops, oh no, I've done that again. Like that. That's a pretty good two. And then the five will just make that thicker a bit. Yeah, I think that's cool. I don't like the top of the five. Should we have the 5 like that? Or should we make it 26 instead? We can make it 26. Uh, like that. 
And then, like that. 26. That's a cool number. That works as well um, with the uh, dimensions that we've used. Okay, 26. I like that. Now, the next part, <laughs> you can start to see it coming, can't you? It's like a bit of an optical illusion at the moment. Uh, we'll have to do that on the other side as well, obviously. Uh, but the other thing is, every so often, what we're going to do is, uh, let's count this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think. Uh, splash me. Now, please, whatever you do, don't ask me for dimensions. Uh, I'm counting out what I can, but I don't know how long the runway is. Um, I'm not going to count it. <laughs> it's too long for me to count. Uh, just If you're doing this yourself, just build it as far as you think looks good. That's all I've done. Okay, so yeah, every so often we're going to do three lines on both sides. So let's line this up. Uh, it's on this one. And we'll go there, there, and there. And then it's one. Is that line? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll replace this one as well. Now, I think I'm going to do this properly and, and maybe count out the blocks between it. Should we do that? Let's do that. I think that's a nice link. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 blocks. And then the um, lines start on that side. So I have to replicate that. Whoops. On the other side. In fact, we can probably do one line to let us know where it is. So these were 12. When they 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then how much was it? Damn it, I've forgotten. It was 20-something. 20 26, was it 26? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember now. <laughs> we'll leave it. We'll carry on with that in a minute. I can do the numbers on the other side. And then it's a matter of doing a line down the middle. So we could probably do that, or at least start that. Um, this middle part, it can all be grey. Like this. And then we'll start the numbers three blocks after. Um, the numbers here, we'll, we'll start the lines three blocks after the numbers. One, two, three. And then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, ah, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. That should be long enough to see if it's the right length. Yeah, I think that'll look cool. So that goes down the middle. And then all the rest that's grass will be pretty much um, just grey wool, grey carpet there. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's hop back to here and work out how we're going to do this. Now, a flat roof is pretty much our only option up to a certain point. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Where's the middle point? About there is the middle point, isn't it? Looks about right. Splash me. We're going to come back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. And the same on this side. Is that in the middle? Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to do another mini hexagon, I think. So if we do 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 5 wide. That's 7 wide. That's 9 wide. Uh, just to give a bit of an interesting design on the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. Yeah. And then we'll add another 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be difficult to count out, right? One, two, three, four. And then we need to work out where it is nine blocks in the middle. Where would it be here if we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Perfect. <laughs> oh, that saved a lot of time and a lot of messing about, didn't it? So that's um, one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. We'll come down here. And then the same over here. One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more of an interesting design here now. Because uh, we can put... Ooh, what about a little layer of glass? Oh, grey wool first. Yeah, we'll carry on with this colour scheme. I would like to get some red in. I don't know why I want to put red in. I just do. And I don't know where yet. Because a lot of it is going to be glass. But yeah, I just want the colour red in it. I think it'll just make it stand out a little bit more. Maybe we can do some accent colours red, like around the terminal bits and... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let's go around with some glass. This, this is sort of like a little control tower, maybe, where... Um, 
I don't know, workers can sit in and be able to monitor the whole place at once. But obviously we're going to have a control tower as well. So the control tower is going to give a little bit more height to the place. Uh, make it look a little bit more full. I hope you can't hear my dogs arguing in the background. Well, they're not arguing. They're playing. They're like growling and wrestling each other. Sometimes I join in. <laughs> All right, let's go another layer as well. Oops, it's getting dark as well. We're getting towards night time. Splash me. Uh, I hate using pains. I hate it so much. Careful. 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 Cool, those dogs are really going for. They're like... <laughs> All right. Uh, nearly halfway around. Nearly there. And then we'll put another layer of grey around it. And then another layer of white around it. And then we'll probably go up into another hexagon as well. I think it's just going to make the... Because we're using a pretty interesting shape to start off with. We're not using a normal square or anything boring like that. Uh, so I think this will just help make it a little bit more interesting than it just being a small airport. Because it is very, very small. Uh, I wish we had more room. We just don't. We've left the airport too long. Uh, maybe if, if we didn't leave it as long, we would have had more room. But eh, still, the biggest the airport is, the less room you've got for other things. So it's hard. It's a hard balance to try and make, isn't it? Uh, and judge. Okay, so come around here. This is going to look cool. This is going to look really, really nice. Uh, around here. And then down here. Careful. I don't know how we're doing for time. We must be sort of running low on time. I'm not going to bother sleeping through the night. You guys can still see what's going on. We're not doing anything terribly uh, difficult to do yourself. Not that we need light for. Okay, so we're going to come around here. Careful. Like this. And then again, we're going to get some slabs. Go in and do another smaller hexagon. So if we come in here, uh, where's the middle point? Is that the middle one? That doesn't look even. Uh-oh. That's not even, is it? Damn it. I hate it when I notice mistakes. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Damn it. We needed to add another one on the side here. Grrr. That's annoying, isn't it? Which means we need another one there and another one down here. Ah, one, two. Ah. Okay, I'll do that in a moment. I'll fix that later. So there's that. Let me fix this now, in fact, and I'll do some more to the uh, runway as well, just so we get a bit of progress this episode. I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank God for carpet, otherwise this would have taken ages. <laughs> I'm back on the last row of the runway. Once this last row is in, it will be full and pretty much complete. There's a couple more things I want to do before we end off the episode, and we must be welling... Welling? Running well over time. I'm sorry about my speech. I'm sorry about my talking today. I can't get a word out without messing it up. <laughs> That's because I'm excited. I'm excited about this airport. Uh, but, okay, excellent. That's the runway. That looks pretty cool. And now what I want to do is going to get some glowstone and some full glass blocks. And on the ends of each of these, we're going to put a glowstone down in the ground. Like this, and then have a glass block on top of it. You see what I mean? Um, hmm. I don't like being able to see the grass, but that means maybe it should have been <laughs> best. We always we always use carpets, and we think we've like cheated the system by using carpets, but it always comes back and bites us, doesn't it? Um, that looks much better, doesn't it? Like that, that it does like that, for sure. Uh, let's go around there. Let's just see what it looks like with a couple of them done. So I want it on all of those, on the ends of all of those, and I want it on the ends of those as well. So at night time, the runway glows and it'll look really, really cool. I'm sure, 100% sure it will. So yeah, I shall do that later on. There's a lot of stuff that I can do off camera. For example, off camera, I can put down the taxiway, which is going to take forever. Um, obviously, this whole surrounding area is going to have to be pretty much concrete or, or grey will be using as concrete uh, around here. So there's a lot of boring stuff I can do off camera after this episode is finished. But anyway, I've fixed this. <laughs> Surprisingly, it didn't actually take that long to fix. I thought it was going to be uh, a really hard job to make it one bigger again. 
Uh, but it didn't turn out to be. So we're going to come in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Okay, now very carefully. One, two, three, four. So that's five blocks wide. And we'll do the same here. Three, four, five. And we're going to play it sensible this time. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Did we count? No, four blocks. Careful. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. And now we can't get it wrong We've got if we've got them on <laughs> both sides. Okay, and then we'll just join them up. Now, have I gone wider on one part? Yeah, I have. Those two are wider. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go like that then. That'll probably give a really cool shape, actually. So we'll come down here. And then down there. Wonderful. Oh, last one. Now, I think we need to, again... Where's my light? Well... Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? There we go. So we'll come across with a, a cross, across with the white wool, and then the grey wool, and then the glass. Um, should we do another two layers of glass, or just one layer of glass? Let's get the panes back again. Get rid of the blocks. Um, I don't know. I don't know what would be best. Maybe one would do. We'll put this one layer down. We'll stand back and have a look, and see if one layer will do. You know, I think one layer would look quite cool. And then we put another row of grey along top. I love this light grey wool. We don't use enough of this block. I always think it's too close to being white. Because on this menu here, it does look very close to white. But it's actually not that close to white at all, is it? But I just don't use it enough. I end up using other stone blocks and stuff, which are a little bit more different um, than just the white wool. But I think definitely we should be using more uh, light grey than this. Yeah, still want to put red in, but still don't know where to get it in. My voice is going. <laughs> um, and then on the top here, I suppose what we'll do on the top, right, is we shall fill it up with our slabs. Splash me. We'll fill it up with these slabs, and then on top we'll put uh, some uh, like aerials and stuff like that. I think would be cool. So we'll come down here, down here, whoops, careful now, uh -huh, don't wind me up, stop messing about with me, like this, and then if we grab some of that, and some of that, and some of that, and then we'll replace, do we want it symmetrical? No, I don't want it symmetrical, we have one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there, perfect. We're going to have a stone wall one coming up here. Different heights, just a couple of blocks different. And then we'll have this one as a stone one as well. Yeah, a little bit of a different height. And then these wooden ones, which are a bit smaller than um, stone walls, we'll do a little bit shorter. So we'll come up there and up there. Perfect. That looks pretty cool on the top there. And uh, maybe with some redstone torches on the top as well. Let's bung some torches on the top here. So at night time, it won't give us an awful lot of light. But it'll have a little bit of red, which is what I wanted on it. Hee <laughs> hee! That's starting to look good. It's starting to look more and more like uh, an airport. Really coming on. Alright guys, we are going to have to leave it there though, because I am running over time. Off camera, I'll start putting some lights down on the runway. I should fill in the roof of this, because that's going to be a boring old job. Um, I might do some windows that we already know where we're going to go. I spoke about those earlier on in the episode. Uh, I won't leave, I'll do the control tower next episode, hopefully. And uh, I'll get rid of the tanks. But until then, guys, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, I'm really enjoying this airport. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Uh, it's a shame we don't have more room, but we're going to make do with the room that we've got. And we're going to make a very, very good use of it. So, yeah, we shall catch you later, guys. See you in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you've already, please subscribe. Bye! Ha, ha, ha.